And, and coming from this professional um, perspective, right? And working with some people in the general population, as you did a few years back, how was that adjustment? Like what, what did you really have to adjust in terms of how you approach things? Yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult because mm-hmm. the general population isn't a professional athlete and in the sense where a professional athlete, you have to, you have to perform. Mm-hmm. You, you have to be mentally dialed in, physically dialed in. You, you have to perform because if you don't, you're, you're replaceable. It doesn't matter how good you are. I've seen some of the best players in the world in any sport sit on the bench. And then from the bench, their career is done. And then all that money that you're making is gone. Whereas... In the general population, I noticed I couldn't, I couldn't push, I can't push people to do what they don't want. Mm-hmm. Everyone is their own individual. But working with the general population, everyone, and that and it's everyone, everyone has something that makes them tick. Mm-hmm. Everyone has something that motivates them. You don't just don't join a gym because like you just want to, I mean, some people do because they just want to be part of the gym. But if you get a trainer, you're investing money. And I think for me now, being in, in a different kind of um, career path, um, and especially in the management side, I, I look at everything a lot from the investment side. Um, mm-hmm. And everything, and it, it, it's hard because I look at athletes like this now, everything is a return on investment. If you're paying to be a trainer, you got to make, it, it's not just, oh, here's the money to the trainer he's got to work magic and make you all of a sudden want to lose weight and everything. Mm -hmm. No, there's a two way street there. The trainer can give you the guidance. Like you, you you give money to the lawyer, but the lawyer doesn't make things happen all the time. You you give money to to anyone, but if, if someone's going to help you, you got also got to help yourself. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the trainer can give you the guidance. The trainer is going to give you exactly what needs to be done. They're going to build the entire roadmap for you. It's like construction. They're going to build the entire road for you. You just got to walk the road. Mm-hmm. You're paying to have your house built. So do what the, what the foreman is saying. The foreman's the trainer. Mm-hmm. Do what they're saying. And if you don't, you know, like that, I think that was the, the biggest thing. I used to tell people being with me was like building a house. If you don't, if you don't take the foundation seriously, it's going to be cracked. And from there on, we might get you to the top, but at some point the house is going to come crumbling down. Mm-hmm. It sounds like the, the mentality sort of like with it, with athletes and professionally yourself, like it was, it was just almost like a no brainer. Like you had the mentality, you had the motivation and you just pushed. Whereas it was a little bit different. You almost have to convince people sometimes that, you know, the goals they asked for is what they really want to do. Yeah. Like it was, it was tough. Like I've definitely had my fair share of clients who you had to try and convince and try and tell them, Hey, like, this is, this is good for you. Like you should do this. Mm-hmm. You almost had to baby them. And I mean, I, I have a very, very fond respect for any trainer who can make a, who can make like a long career out of it mm-hmm. because it's, it, it's a lot of patience, man. It's, it's a lot of patience. It's a lot of dedication, time, passion. Um, what, what I think people need to realize is that trainers are a lot more than what you see. Um, it's a lot of emotional connection. You're not just a number to trainers. If the trainer's taking out time to personalize something for you, it's because they genuinely care. Dollar figure or not, I know that most trainers from the bottom of their heart would want to help everyone in the world because it's not just a thing about being in the gym. It's like, especially knowing you, I know it's a health thing. I know it's about making people um, realize what they can actually do with themselves and the longevity that they can have. Mm-hmm.